What's up everyone, Swillow here. Today we're going to talk about the new game slash expansion, Attack on Titan 2 Final Battle. Now I did a similar themed video for the original release of this game, and I had pretty promising things to say about the original, but let's see if this expansion holds up. And first thing I want to say right off the bat is that this expansion is super hefty, as an expansion should be of course, but I would also argue that this expansion has more valuable content than the original game had. So let's go over some reasons why. First off, they have a mode called Titan Recovery Mode, and this is the single best mode in the game now. It's a mode that's really dedicated to focusing strictly on the gameplay through a high amount of replayability design and variables to it to main long-term interest compared to anything else the game previously had. For action games, I feel like it's super important for replayable design to exist so that players have ways to keep pushing the game mechanics and especially in the case of games like this where there's RPG elements like gear and grinding to be done, you need a good way to do this so that it doesn't get overwhelmingly tedious or unrewarding. This mode is a powerful addition to the game because it really pushes the gameplay to its limits and it gives you like a really challenging and varied way to keep playing and feeling rewarded. And I feel like action games should always have gameplay modes like this. The next great thing about this game is the sheer amount of quality of life additions made. The second game already made a bit of quality of life design over the first, but this expansion just goes above and beyond with the quality of life. First, online mode was super revamped. The way it worked before is you had to search separate spaces to find PvP or co-op games. And you also couldn't see lobbies if they were already departed on and they weren't full yet. This game condensed matchmaking into a single super easy search engine. And not only can you see games if they've been started, you can even join mid-mission, which is pretty wild. They also added daily missions and other little things to encourage a healthy and active community. Lots of great touches to the online mode that makes it more visible and alive compared to before where even if people were playing, you wouldn't even be able to tell just because the matchmaking was so discreet and limited. It's not just the online either, but they have a lot of other little things as well, such as being able to save skill build loadouts so you can easily switch between all your different builds, more on-screen indicator of things, like when a gift shop is sold out, it has a little X over it so you don't have to click on a shop only to find out they're sold out. Just simple little things like this that lead to a more fluid and enjoyable experience. Now the real star of the show, the game mechanics. So I want to go all the way back to the first game as I describe the evolution of this game, the series game mechanics. The first game released and it was a lot of fun for what it was and there was some cool depth to it, but there was also a lot of limiting design to it as well. Some of that can be argued that it's because Attack on Titan itself doesn't have a lot to its source material. The way they fight in a show is pretty linear, and it's not like these characters have magic powers or anything, so you really have to stretch to make a show built on such a simple combat premise feel constantly exciting, right? They did it for the most part, but obviously they could only do so much. Next, Attack on Titan 2 came, and they introduced some more elaborate touches to certain parts of the game to make it feel a good deal more varied, but at the end of the day, you can still argue the tedious structure of the gameplay was there but it was still really enjoyable compared to the first. Now here we are with the final battle expansion. They really didn't hold back here. They pushed this game to the brim using the source content in really creative ways. So first off, they have a new weapon types. One main weapon, the firearms, which plays very different from the blades and is also pretty challenging and technical to use. But they also added a cool new mechanic called the showdown mechanic. So the showdown mechanic is like an interesting mode that changes your weapon properties for a period of time. If you're using the blades, your weapon becomes the Thunder Spears, which is a ranged based explosion weapon that can deal concentrated area damage. It's very different from how the blades work, which when mixed into your gameplay, it really expands on your options and it just feels really satisfying to use. It's a really cool mechanic and I like how they incorporated the weapon into the experience so that you can mix it into your gameplay with your main weapon. Uh, the Thunder Spears are more basic option wise, but due to being added in such a clever way, they never outstay their welcome, since you have to manage when and how to use them. The Firearms get a showdown version as well, which isn't as distinct compared to the Thunder Spears, but it's super satisfying. You get the Gatling Gun, which gives you incredible concentrated damage and fire output for a period of time. 
pretty much your single best way to melt a Titan's health bar, making it feel more like a raw power-up rather than a completely different gameplay style compared to the blades going to Thunder, Blade, uh, Thunder Spears. These touches really helped to push the gameplay to a higher level of variety. They also added some cool mechanics like a perfect reload mechanic, which is, I love this mechanic, where if you time your blade change, gas change, bullet reload and such correctly, you get a temporary boost of having infinite of that resource for a small period of time. It's such a simple addition, but it keeps you constantly involved in all levels of the gameplay. Like before, changing gas was just an unpleasant resource management mechanic. Now it becomes a fun test of changing it safely and getting a perfect reload for a satisfying perk of doing so. So it's like a cool little touch right there that even keeps you like in the zone even when you're changing your gas because you gotta time it right to get the bonus. These kinds of touches really help to keep the experience constantly satisfying. And we also get ways to attack titans more precisely as well. We get more indicators and ways to get critical hits which adds more depth to the positioning and it's really important for getting like huge damage especially at lower levels earlier points of the game where you have less options if you really maximize this mechanic you can get crazy amounts of damage and all these little touches just kind of combine to make the overall gameplay experience feel so deep and varied compared to where it started from in the first game they really went all out with some clever touches to get the gameplay to this level and it's just it's so satisfying now to think that uh, where it started and where it is now it was it's always been to me it's always been from fun from the beginning but they really just pushed it to a truly intricate level also the titans have become as dangerous as ever if you know from the first game the titans were just pretty much uh, training dummies they barely moved their attacks were really threatening and this has improved little and little like little by little over time through patches through the sequel and here we are in final battle in final battle the titans are very dangerous not only have they increased the amount of titans that are on screen but the ai is incredibly aggressive it's not uncommon to get grabbed out of middle of combo strikes and in general they're not just gonna let you hit their nape for free the back of their neck and it just leads to like a more thoughtful experience all around you have to think of other ways and you have to be more precise more conscious so you're combining like all of the new mechanics all the improvements the increased ai all these elements just merge together to create what i feel like is such a perfect action game now it's kind of crazy to think of that because when you think of anime type games you normally just think of them more for the fan service but this game not only is it great in the fan service department but it has actually developed into a truly authentic action game experience so this is like the kind of game that i would recommend to someone who just strictly wants to play like a really top quality action game because that's what this game has become it's just such a well done expansion. It really does all the things a game needed to do to solidify itself. And I might argue that this is probably the best anime license game ever made. The attention to detail, the authenticity to its source material, and most importantly, the creative design choices on the developer's end to make the gameplay experience enjoyable. This game really does a lot to hold its own as an amazing action game in general, regardless how you feel about Attack on Titan series. So I highly recommend it. If you already have Attack on Titan 2, picking this up is a no-brainer. And if you have not played this series up until now, this is going to be an amazing way to get into it. This uh, expansion, by the way, once you buy the Final Battle game, uh, it also comes with two. So I believe that's how it works. Uh, just double check that. But I believe like when you buy Final Battle, it's completely packaged with two. So you're going to get the entire gameplay experience in its maximum glory. And I do suggest this game greatly. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, just leave a comment. Peace.